Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to share with you a little haul or maybe a big haul. <laughs> These are recent items that I have purchased. There's, it's, it, there's no rhyme or reason. It's a variety of things. And really, honestly, I don't know why I don't do this because I am constantly replenishing and repurchasing, but I do share a lot in my empties videos. But I just thought this was really nice. I am getting ready to go on vacation. So some items I purchased to make sure I was well stocked for a vacation or maybe items that I needed for a vacation. And some items are just on repeat, but I I have some new purchases as well. At the end, if you enjoyed watching this haul, let me know and maybe I will do a monthly haul of my recent purchases. As always, links to everything will be in the description box below this video, also on the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link to shop from. Be sure to check out my personal brand website as well as my coaching and consulting website. So let's dive in with the items that are recent purchases. The first item that I want to share is this cropped green cami. This is ribbed. I actually got this on Amazon and I really love it. There's a lot of options. I picked this up because this is a great color for me. It is right in my color family. I believe many people can wear this color, but I think it's going to look great with white, and I do plan on packing this for vacation. I also may wear this in next week's video, so be sure to be watching for that. I also have a different version. It's a little bit different texture, but it's actually the same link as the green cropped um, v-neck that I shared with you. This is a sweater. It's in the color. They call it apricot. I've wore this many times. If you go to Instagram, I have a photo recently where I wore this and I know that I have other photos on there as well. So this has gotten a lot of use and I do intend on packing it as well. Here's another beauty that I will be packing and I believe I wore this in my last video where I shared with you beachwear and swimwear that I will be packing. If you want to see a video where I am showing you a few different bathing suit options and cover-ups and accessories and bags and hats and all of that goodies, uh, check out that video. It will be linked in the description box. But this is a strapless. I've wore this a couple times already. Again, wore it in the last video that I did. And I think this would look great with white as well. And I will be packing it. And I have not wore this yet. The tag is still on here. But this is really just a layering piece. In my last video where I shared with you swimsuits and cover-ups, I showed a black bandeau with white pants and then I did like a green linen top button down over top and um, loved that. But sometimes I don't like to wear a strapless bandeau. So I picked this up. I know I will get a, a lot of use out of it. I'm sure it's offered or available in other colors. I tried it on. It fits perfect. It will be going with me. Um, but yeah, if you can do the cropped, I definitely shared some versions with you. A lot of times, if you're wearing something high-waisted, the crop will hit right at the waist, so you're actually not even showing any skin. Here, we have a brand new pair of linen trouser pants. These do not go all the way to the floor, so they are cropped and they taper down and they do have pleats in front, pockets in back. They're belted, high-waisted. These just came in. In fact, I have not even steamed or ironed them yet. You can see there's a little cuff at the bottom. I actually purchased these, and I purchased another pair of linen pants on the same site. Actually, those were a little bit too small on me, although I ordered the same size in both. Um, this is a size 2. That's typically what I wear as a size 2. The other ones, uh, they just... They didn't fit me right. I could get them up, but I would have definitely sized up. But I could already tell I wasn't as fond of the style. They were a wide leg and they went all the way down. I have ordered so many linen pants in this color this year only to return them. Finally, finally, I nailed it with these. I absolutely love them. They came in a couple of days ago. I tried them on. And I just have this thing where 
I have to be fully ready to, to really see if I like something. So I tried these on a couple of days ago along with the other ones to see if they fit and if I liked them. I already knew the other ones didn't work and I just got them packaged up today to ship out um, on Monday. But um, these fit great and I was like, I'm in love, but I, I really do need to try them on when I'm all ready and I tried them on today and they fit me perfect. They look great on me and I absolutely love them. They will be going with me. These will be linked and can't recommend them high enough. I, they're very high-waisted, but they are flattering on the back. Sometimes when you go really high-waisted, it can just make you look like you have your, a long butt. It's not always flattering, but these really are, and I think a lot of it is because the waist right above where the belt is it's higher up and it's kind of pleated so they are very very flattering from behind the only thing that i will say is if you're thick waisted which i am more thick waisted i'm a size two everywhere but my waist is borderline four i've always been built that way the women in my family tend to be more thicker waisted we're rectangular shaped bodies these, you would just have to be careful if you're really thick waisted, and I mean high waist. I don't mean low waist, I mean high waist because these really just fit. I don't have a lot of elbow room, but absolutely love them. Next, I want to share a belt with you. This is just an Amazon fine that I uh, really, really like. And what you do, you have a couple different options. You can wear it like a traditional belt. Let me see, you would go, you can wear it like a traditional belt. I think you maybe go like that. I'd have to look on the site. Yeah, you can go so that it's so that you can't really see a buckle if you just want that seamless look. Or let's say you have a shirt dress or something. That was one of the reasons I got this is I feel like on some dresses this is going to look really nice. So you would have the option to wear it like that or you would have the option to uh, let's see. I think it goes like this maybe. There's a, it's hard when you're not wearing it. Oh no, this has to go up and I think around and then you loop it through maybe, something like that. Yeah, there we go. You would have the option to do that, which I think with like a shirt dress, like a white shirt dress, this is going to look really amazing. So that's one of the reasons I got this. I do have a long white linen shirt as well as a long white button down that are great for bathing suit cover-ups. I shared them in my last video, but I think it would be really neat to be able to cinch the waist in. I look great when I cinch in the waist because it gives the illusion that I have more curves than I do. So a belt like this is gonna be perfect. Definitely going with me on um, vacation. In that same color family, taking them off, taking them off, and I shared these in my last video, these slides, match the belt perfectly and I love this more cognac color I guess I would call it um, and I like that the bottom is kind of the same color it it just blends really well sometimes you'll get black or it'll be like a like a beigey off-white I really love these I definitely recommend them I'm wearing them today clearly and um, I just think they're perfect so they will be going with me the same shoes are available in many colors, many options, and I picked up for a vacation the Raffia, which I think are amazing. Same, same bottom, so it really blends in, but I really like that for vacation. So these will be linked, and again, there is probably 15 to 20 options in these slides. They're very comfortable. They stay on really well. And I've already gotten a ton of use out of the ones that I'm wearing. It's They're actually called Mocha, but I've gotten a ton of use out of those. I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of these as well. So definitely recommend. And they're just, again, an Amazon find. So a lot of these are gonna be really um, cost friendly. Now you know I love my nudes. New, and I have not wore these yet. I will be. They are going with me. I got, this is almost like a suede material, but these wedge sandals that tie up, you can tie them in the front, you can tie them in the back. 
beautiful. And last time I checked, about a, a couple of days ago, I put these on Instagram stories. They were on sale, so hopefully they still are. I know that they're available in a red, not a, a it's more of like a, a warm red and they have kind of a suede look and they're available in black. And then they're also available in like an off white that may be a little bit textured, but you know that I love my nudes and these are just lightweight, gorgeous. Staying with fashion and accessories, I picked up another box of nippies. I actually have two of these and I have two different sizes. These are to me a must staple in all women's wardrobes because you don't know when you're gonna be wearing something that requires you to go braless. If you can, I can, and just cover up the nippies. <laughs> Believe it or not, these, so this is what they, they look like and you, you can imagine where they go. This size is for A to, I think B cup or A to C cup. They have one for D and, and up cups and I have those as well. It just depends on what I'm wearing. I will be utilizing these for at least the, I know for sure my outfit for our family photo shoot, our last day of vacation, we have a family photo shoot on the beach and my dress is at my seamstress right now but I already know that I will be wearing these. You peel off the back, save the back. These wash up and they don't lose their stickiness. So they're a must. The reason that I stocked up and got more is it never fails that my girls need to borrow these and I wouldn't be surprised if at least one or two of the girls needs to borrow a pair when we do the photo shoot. And I want to make sure that I have them on hand because they're, they don't plan ahead the way that I do and they won't know till the day of and I need to have a pair. So luckily I have three pair. I brought everything that anyone could need though because I just know how that works and leave it to mom. She always has what everyone needs. Someone needs to and I'm okay with that. So yep, three pair of nippies and they do come in different colors according to your skin tone. So they are, they're, they're a must. They are definitely a must. Moving into beauty, which is a favorite for many ladies, including myself, Pond's Cleansing Balm. You know my love for the Elemis Cleansing Balm and then the Colleen Rothschild Cleansing Balms. Absolutely love and would recommend both of those. They're pricey though. Back when I did my cleansing balm video where I believe I shared five different cleansing balms with you, a lot of people shared in the comment section how great the Pond's cleansing balm is. I finally pulled the trigger and picked it up and I'm sold. I still love the Elemis. I still love the Colleen's Rothschild. I will definitely recommend them, but if you want to save some money, the Pond's Cleansing Balm is amazing. What I use it for is makeup removal and it is a gem. So before washing my face, I always use Cleansing Balm. And you can check out my PM skincare routine where I remove my makeup to see when and, and how I use this. I have on my list my Mederma Facial uh, Dry, my advanced dry skin therapy facial toner because I thought that would arrive. I think it's coming today, so I have it on my list. I will insert a photo either here or here, or my editor will insert a photo. Um, that is coming, that's always on repeat, and you always see that in my empties videos, but I don't have it here, it's on its way. But what I, oh, I do have it, is it full? No, I don't Oh, yeah, towel. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I have a helper today. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is my empty one. My empties is the next video that I'm shooting and all of my empties are sitting over there. So here's the empty one, but yeah, I have a full one coming. Another item that is just on repeat as a purchase is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Always on repeat, uh, can't be without it. And I wear shade 3N1 Ivory Beige, best foundation, just best. <laughs>
Moving on to sunless tanning because that is the only tanning that I do and I have quite a, quite a, quite a slew of products but I have a couple new ones that just came in that I want to share with you and one is a newbie. But first we're going to start with the Jurgens Natural Glow, three days to glow in medium to deep skin tones. I have used this forever. The smell is not great, but I believe all of them throughout the day start to smell funky and it doesn't dry super fast, but this gives me the best tan. It is a gradual self tanner that literally tans you in one, one day of using it, you are very tan the next day. So if, if I had a ride or die or, or whatever product that I had to pick one, I'd probably pick this one only because I go through it so much, so fast, and it's probably the cheapest in price. So I would have to go with this one just because I go through it so much, but love it, would recommend it. I can get past the scent. I pick and choose what days I, I wear certain products according to getting ready. So today I didn't use this because it's a get ready day. I don't want the funky scent. I did use a product, but it wasn't this one. In fact, I will link in the description box the gradual self tanner I have on today that dries down better and it doesn't have a funky scent, but it doesn't get you as dark as this one. Okay, so, and it is the um, Unfiltered Lux, and it will be linked below. Moving on to another just cannot live without, this is by Body Drench, it's Quick Tan. This literally is, if you went to a, if you went to a, um, a, a salon and you got a spray tan, that's what this is. You're just, it's a spray tan. You can spray yourself and have someone spray your back and you just got spray tanned. It dries extremely fast. You don't have to wash it off. So a couple of weeks ago, actually, now that I think of it, the day that I filmed my swimsuit video, again, will be linked, I used this that morning, never showered, filmed with all of my, did all those changes of clothes, got dressed for the day, and went to a party, still wearing this and wore a white top. And the, and the outfit that I wore is in that video. This is a must have, so recommend it. And again, very affordable. It's like drugstore price range. And this is new to the arsenal. I used this B Tanned, Tanned AF. I think Tanned AF stands for Tanned as, I'm thinking, Maybe tanned as, yeah. yeah, I think so. Tanned AF, yeah, I think so. Uh, this was recommended to me to replace my Saint Tropez, which is pricier and loved, absolutely loved. I applied this yesterday. No, I applied this Thursday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, two days before now. Yesterday I didn't do anything. Today I did the gradual self tanner of the unfiltered that I have. So this gave me a good base and then I'm just layering. I'm definitely a layer person to get the depth that I desire but would definitely recommend. Yeah, all these will be going with me. I don't know how much self tanning I'll be doing because I will be outside. We have a boat day and we have a, like three beach days while we're on vacation but I wear SPF 50. So I just don't really get a lot of sun. You're not going to see a lot of lines on me. So I really do have to rely on the sunless tan to get that bronzy glow that we all want when we're wearing a swimsuit, right? Since I already showed this, the Super Goop Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion. This will go in my beach bag. I recently did a blog post what's in my beach bag or beach bag essentials. I'll have that blog post linked below. So you'll know everything that goes in there, including this fantastic SPF. I'm really fussy about my sunblock. It cannot be greasy. I don't want to scent. It needs to dry quickly and this does the job. It's perfect. I walk a lot, like almost every day. Sometimes it's very sunny out, regardless if it's sunny or cloudy. This is on and it works great. It just dries down. I love it. Sticking with the sunblock theme, I stocked up on the Sun Bum 
sunscreen lip balm. This is a great product. I decided to get the three pack because I have a feeling a lot of people on vacation will be asking me if I have a lip balm. And so I just figure I can pass these out. We have coconut, banana, and watermelon. I'm not a coconut fan. Um, banana or watermelon will be fine for me, but uh, these are a must to have. Moving on to fitness, I just got stocked up on my favorite white no-show footies that I wear for working out, that I wear for walking. I periodically like to replenish these anyway. I also, whenever guest stay or one of the kids comes home, for example, if my second daughter Haley comes home from New York, I've shared a video before of how I set things up for her so that anything she needs, because she typically only takes a carry-on, I will always put a couple of these little footies in her whole thing. I have a, it's, it's how to get ready for having house guests or your kids coming home. I'll make sure I link that video as well. Uh, but yeah, these are great to have and I will be taking them with me on vacation. I ran out of my Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer, which you will see in my empties video that's coming up. Let's see if I can get this open. We're just gonna try to tear the box because it's sealed. Basically what this is, all right, we're in commission. You just unscrew it and in you, you, here's a little roller. You dial it up almost like deodorant and it, you, you, can, you can do it right on your body naturally wherever you would like to. Where I use this is my stomach area, maybe my where your love handles would be, and sometimes my butt. Yes, you heard right, on my butt, my butt, my glutes, my butt cheeks. <laughs> and then what I'll do is I'll put my waist trimmer on. Now I've been asked, do I recommend the waist trimmer? Not to many people. Um, it, to me, it could be gimmicky, but it has definitely helped contour my waist a little bit. But a clean diet and a hardcore workout routine are required. I have had people say, those don't work. Well, it would make sense you feel that way considering your diet's not working, your, your lack of an exercise routine is, work, is not working. I will do anything to give myself a waist because I don't really have a natural one. So I'm always trying to create the illusion that I do or do anything that can help me. So I do wear the waist trimmer. I will have the waist trimmer linked and then I don't apply this all the time. In fact, I think I have in Instagram stories in my fitness highlight more information of when I use this product as well as other ones because there's another one that I like to use as well. I'll have it linked also. So the other one really gives you a burning sensation. I don't like to wear that one if I'm going to be outside or in heat because it's just too hot. This one you don't even know you have on. So definitely recommend if you're really into fitness and maybe you wear the waist trimmer. Um, if you don't use the waist trimmer, then I don't know if I would use it, but I use it. Let's just leave it at that. I use it. Sticking with fitness, I stocked up on my Poise Impressa bladder supports that I do need to use if I am doing any running. So I do have to utilize these when I go to Orange Theory because I am what they call a jogger at Orange Theory. If I walk with Paul or if I walk by myself because I walk faster, and I will leak through my diaper. As you know, I need to wear an adult diaper. I will have the adult diapers that I purchase. So I have to double up because I have a compromised pelvic floor. Stacked up on these, I always talk about these in my empties video, so this is probably nothing new. I don't need to expand any further, but I stacked up because I knew that I needed to take a box with me on vacation. Moving on to a home item, Target was having a sale on our favorite sheets. So we stocked up and purchased two. So next week in the empties video, you'll see the old sheets. These are by Threshold, which is, I believe, just a line by Target. They are the performance sheet set. I like white sheets. I like white everything. A lot of people are afraid of white. I love white. You know why? You can get stains out of white because it's just bleach in cold water and it takes stains out. It's when we wear color that it's more difficult. So I love white sheets and stocked up two sets. 
The other ones came off. They are going in the garbage. They will be in next week's empties video. How I got turned on to the performance sheet set is several years ago, I took a poll on Instagram stories asking your thoughts on your, or what people would recommend as their favorite sheets. And this is the sheet that won. And I can see why highly recommend. Moving on to a food item. We have a spice here or a seasoning. It's Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multi-Purpose Uma Umami Seasoning Blend. I have went through a few of these and how I found out about this seasoning blend is one of my clients sent me a really nice gift with a bunch of goodies in it. Some goodies that she knew that I liked that would be stock up and a couple of things she wanted me to try. And this seasoning blend was one of the items. She said it's great like on top of your eggs and she knows that I eat eggs pretty much every day, post-workout for sure. And on other dishes as well, I use this several times a day on top of my chicken, on top of my egg salad, on top of my eggs. If I take a celebratory meal because we're entertaining and I make anything that's comfort food like casserole, like cheesy gourmet potatoes, Spanish rice, um, my chicken taco chili, anything that I make that is savory like that and just very, like I said, comfort food, not, not diet friendly, I top with this seasoning blend. So I don't add it to things. I don't cook with it. I tried that and you don't even notice it. It's really to top food and it's so good. It's just perfect. Wrapping up with a couple of supplements, here we have my 60 billion probiotic. This is actually empty and you'll see it next week in my empties video, but I store my probiotics in the refrigerator. So my full one is in the refrigerator, but I wanted to show you that this just came in and I always am stocked on my probiotics. The other one is vitamin C, just stocked up on these, and these are 1,000 milligrams. I take 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C every single day, and I would recommend that for everyone. So there you have it. There's everything for my haul, my recent purchases. Again, everything will be linked in the description box below this video, as well as on the corresponding blog post, which is always your best place to shop from and is always your top link. Any videos that I shared with you today will be also included in the drop down. Be sure to be watching me and following me on Instagram stories. I share favorite items and purchases every single day, just about. And then I save them to the appropriate highlight. For example, I will share my vitamin C when I purchase it. I will tell you when I take it or how much I take. So I give extra information on Instagram stories and then I save it in the supplements highlight. For example, this would be in the fitness highlight and you can get more information. So definitely be watching me on stories for great content, great messages and items that I would definitely recommend. The other thing is I share all of these items every single Friday in my Friday newsletter. So make sure you're subscribed to that. I give you a recap of my week, what I'm gonna be doing on the weekend. So for example, today, a newsletter will go out and I will share any purchases that I made this week, any recommendations, what I've been up to, have I gotten anything done, what's going on with the family, and what I'm going to be doing this weekend. So make sure you, can, you subscribe to that. Link will be in the des description box. And then on my personal brand website, you can shop my random recommendations. These are all my favorites. They're all in categories, same thing. If you like what I share, let me know, leave a comment, um, make sure you subscribe, tell people about me, and check out all of the resources where I share oodles and oodles of awesome content and products that I have been so loyal to. So thanks for joining me. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week.